Hello, my YouTube family. This is Dr. Lee. I'm here with another one of my videos. And today we're going to be doing counts and records respiration, which is skill number seven. I think this one is an easy skill. Only thing you have to do is watch the person take a deep breath in and out. That's one breath. The second in and out is two breaths. The third in and out is three breaths. The evaluator will give you a form to document on and um, there'll be an area for candidate results and then one for the evaluator put her results down. And then there will be uh, a marking to let you know that you have respirations, okay? So I'm gonna step out, come back and do this skill and then we'll talk about it. Good morning, Ms. Mary, how are you doing? My name is Dr. Lee, and I'm here to um, take your respirations. Is that okay? Okay, right. I'm going to go ahead and pull the curtain to provide for privacy. I wash my hands. So for this skill, the only thing you really have to do is just look at the patient to see their chest rise and fall. You want to tell the evalu evaluator when you are going to start counting and when you stop. So you need that watch with a second hand. You cannot use electronic watches. Here at the school, we have clocks with a second hand on it. It's one in front of me, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to tell the evaluator when I'm going to start counting. When I stop counting, the evaluator will be counting with me as we watch the patient. So, okay, I'm going to say start. Okay, so I counted 19 breaths that the patient was, was doing in that one minute. So once I said stop, the evaluator stopped counting, I stopped counting. Since I'm here at the patient's bedside, I'm gonna go ahead on and give the patient a call light. So Ms. Mary, here's your call light. You can push the red button if you need to get a hold of me. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? You good? Okay, great. Now I need to document my results. I got 19, so I'm going to wash my hands. So I just tell the evaluator I'm washing my hands. Now I can pick up the evaluator's pen and a pencil that they have. And on that form, I'm going to write 19. Okay? 19. Where it says candidate results. And then I would hand this over to the evaluator. At that point, I'm pretty much done with my skill. So I just need to say I wash my hands and I'm through with my skill. So that ends the grading for the respirations. You should be able to do respiration within, I would say like a couple of minutes if you have this as a skill. So let's talk about the steps. There are only five steps to, to this, counting and requires respiration skill number seven. So number one, explain the procedure and you're talking to your patient. This will be done on a live patient. Number two, counts the respirations for one full minute. Number three, place the signal device within reach. Number four, before recording, before you record, you have to wash your hands because you had patient contact or you was in the patient's room. And then number five, you want to record the respirations. Keep in mind that for this measurement skill, you need to be two numbers plus or minus from whatever the evaluator gets, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please give um, me a like, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, okay? It's very important. The subscribing and the like button is what keeps me at the top of the search when people go to YouTube. 
and it also helps me to stay my channel to stay on so i hope that you enjoyed it tell your friends about it good luck when you take your state exam all right and i will see you for sure in the next video take care